The 2016 Telstra Tasmanian Business Women's for Purpose and Social Enterprise Award winner is Bernadette Black. <laughs>like to thank Telstra, this is just incredible. Um, to the fellow finalists that are in the room, it's incredibly inspiring to be aligned with each and every one of you. You are all tremendous and um, doing this walk alongside you all is just nothing short of um, amazing. News Corp and also to Commonwealth Bank, thank you for the opportunity. To the Brave Foundation board, we have some directors here tonight, to my beautiful family, Steve, my husband, and my son Damien who is on the table. Thank you just from the bottom of my heart. Um, so, as a child, I grew up in a poor family in suburban Melbourne. In grade one, I was so concerned about a disabled boy in my primary school that I spoke to my principal and asked whether there were ramps to help this boy get to the library. She said no, but by the next term, this was changed from my voice. Justice, inclusion, reduction of stigma and passion run at the core of who I am. My strength in these values was reinforced, unbeknownst to me, <laughs> as a 16-year-old pregnant girl. I caught the bus with my newborn, Damien, who's now 23, overwhelmed. I'd hardly held a baby, wasn't a maternal girl, and no one had told me how to pack a nappy bag. I wondered how I might get the pram and the bags into the bus, and I smiled at the driver, looking at him. And then he looked down at me and said something that was so shocking that I won't repeat it tonight, while a busload of people watched me stumble up the stairs, carrying my pram and bags. I tried hard not to cry. My destination that day was a local adult education centre where I intended to finish my secondary school. You see, I guess my story is not that glamorous. My story, it does challenge people, and some prefer perhaps not to hear it, but this is my story, and the story of some other 24,000 young women in Australia every year, possibly our most excluded ladies in our nation. I met with the Commissioner for Children and Young People, informing him that 80% of teenage parents are on long-term welfare, costing $16 million per person over their lifetime, totalling $2.1 billion per annum. The research shows, however, that it is stigma that reduces the pregnant and parenting teenagers' ability to access education, with only 5% continuing despite high aspirations for their families, careers and themselves. That's pretty sad when they've always wanted to. We've failed teenage parents until now. Armed with the book, How to Start a Charity for Dummies, I founded Brave Foundation in 2009, the charity I looked for as a teenage mum and couldn't find. We build up the village of support and acceptance around anyone facing teenage pregnancy and parenthood, providing support, educational opportunities and pathway plans wherever they are in Australia, turning the trajectory of generations. Goodness, how we have grown. From a registered nurse with conviction, my vision and leadership has seen us receive PBI DGR status. The establishment of a skills mixed board including directors from private and ASX top five companies and recruitment of our chair, the Honourable David Bartlett, former Tasmanian Premier, a personal career light for, highlight for me. David is also the son of a teenage mother and nominator of me tonight, so thank you, David. I've completed governance and business studies, served as an elected member in local government, sat on boards, won the Bernardo's Mother of the Year for Australia in 2009, and in 2015 secured Jeff Kennett to launch Brave Foundation nationally and negotiated an online linking partnership with Beyond Blue. Five young mums shared their story that day that we've helped at the national launch, all of them kicking goals, not, long, not one part of long-term welfare in sight. I've led and commissioned a national first pregnant and parenting team support and education strategy for Australia. Our recommendations are currently being sought from all tiers of government and Andrew Forrest, a co-author of the Creating Parity Review. 
We won a Webby Award for our site at the same level as NBC News America and execute a comprehensive digital strategy, strategy and saw a reach in excess of one million per month this year, ahead of Australia's most well-known charities. I will continue to find ramps to give access to those that would otherwise be excluded. I will continue to lift my voice for all women that are here tonight and all men as well and in our nation, I give you my commitment to champion diversity and inclusion, reduce stigma, strengthen families and build community for the rest of my days. I call upon our state and federal governments inviting you to lead an inclusive and diverse culture by ensuring that this is reflected in policy level across governments and in our major political parties and perhaps even more importantly, listed in the values of these organisations together we will see the trajectory of generations change. Welcome to the Brave Village. Thank you. Thank you.